In the previous video, we analyzed the plate with the pin or this another plate. Now we wonder, can we translate or simplify this problem into a beam problem? And would the results be comparable in ANSYS and Abacus? Let's try and find out. Now here we create a new static structural study and uh, in the geometry I'm going to use the design modeler rather than space plane and we're just going to leave it the analysis start to be 3D. And we create a beam and then for the beam we create a sketch first and I have chosen this plane. L let's use any arbitrary geometry. And we create a line from sketch and then we select it and then click and then generate. Now we would we would hold it from the centers and in the midpoint we're gonna apply the, the displacement boundary conditions like we like we did previously. So we split it into half and one more thing we can do in, in the sketch, we can, we can fix it in the midpoint here. When we go to the constraints and then there is a midpoint and then we select this line and this point. Now it would be exactly in the center. We can try with drag and see if it really is. Yeah, it's in the center. Now. Now we have a beam, we have line body, but we don't have a cross section. So let's give it a cross section. Uh, let's switch it to millimeter. 10 mil, 10 mil, and let, let's just go with rectangle, right? Okay. And now we can close it and we can. And we can go to setting up the boundary conditions and the model. Now splitting the beam in the half was very important because in the center we're gonna we can apply it in the boundary condition. And we, we didn't have any we would not have any point uh, if we if we had not split it up. Let's generate a mess and see if I can tick shells and begin it's a, a bit too long in terms of thickness but anyway we we can we can select these points and, uh, and these two points as fixed points and in the center point we can apply the displacement boundary condition let it be in z direction three three inch or whatever you guys i'm, I'm just messing up let's make 10 millimeter okay and then we hit solve and it's gonna run it, it took just a little bit like 10 seconds to run it and you can see the deformation here well in the x it's nothing but let's make it total deformation and it's telling me 10 mil because we it was boundary now we don't have these equivalent one biases and these stresses available to us because it's a beam and we can see it from here as well the line body is a model type beam now we're going to use the beam to and beam results let's try the bending moment this is bending moment newton millimeter use the beam tool to find out the stresses but these are the direct stresses none and combined stresses these are my stresses and beam tool and stress and then I can find out minimum maximum bending stresses and combined so it, by default it shows the combined ones so let's find out the deformation which is there the, the beam tool has two options to the stress 
and this concludes showing the results for ANSYS. Now let's go back to go to the ANSYS and, and set up. Let's go to the Apicus and see how we can set up the analysis over there. And in the part, let's create a 3D, but it's a wire and planar. And, and we continue. So like the answers we just put an arbitrary beam here. It would have two endpoints and it would have nothing in it. So we need to we still need to split it, but let's do that in in the property row mesh. Or we can do it here. Create a partition. And it doesn't have a face like I cannot. So I would have to select the midpoint. That's it and create partition. Right. Now we're done with it. So for material, I had in the answers it was automatically defined and selected. So I didn't have to choose it or input manually. So but for for answers uh, for Epicus, let, let's do it. Two hundred two hundred and ten files. It, it's wrong anyway, but but I'm I'm just gonna show you the the sequence or the flow. Now we're gonna create a section and that is beam. Now beam, there are two beams, beam and truss. And let's select beam here. And then we don't have a profile yet. Let's create a profile that was equal. That was box, the one we created. Not a box, that was a rectangle. Let's put one and one here. Okay. And I'm gonna apply it to both of the lines and section one. And done. Now, now we have to assign the beam orientation in, in an abacus, and um, th this is not you, this is not by default you need to do in in ANSYS, but in abacus if you don't do it, it it would not just run. So we use these two perf sections and then it give it a tangent vector as shown and then hit enter and it should show you the one and two direction lines now these are the one and two direction lines that we did in that we created a section for and for example my two would be in y direction and my one would be in next or in z direction so done and let's see what profile we have in the two and in the one so this is two and this was the one now we have to remember it despite the a b or the width or length shown in here so we have to remember that the numbers that it gave otherwise it would all be wrong in assembly let's create an instance you need to create an instance because uh, it would just be part and not um, the, the assembly create a boundary condition that is going to be fixed so let's create these two points select and I'm gonna fix everything done now create another one it would just have fixed it would just be fixed in Z direction Z3 let's create a step use the default settings but the second boundary condition is going to be changed it's gonna let's say 10 and we don't have a constraint or a connection so we just don't we just leave it like this let's run it with six It forgot the mesh, but it's still submitting. Wow! But nevertheless, we we can still go back and and do it while it, it submits and gives us an error in the end. Mm. 
now even though it is submitted for the analysis we can go back to mesh and then go mesh we can um the solver is gonna run anyway so it's a part so we just mesh it yeah and it, it's showing you the mesh size let's create a smaller one yeah and And now we we can submit. So it's a good good thing to do the data check before we submit, and that would give you any problems if if it has. But for now, I'm I'm just gonna hit submit. And we are done with it. So we're gonna look for how much time it took. So it took to like about wow, one second and half a second. Wow, that's fast though. But let's check the results though. And the results are something. Yeah, wow, too much stress though. And the magnitude. This was a very basic problem to show you how to set up the beam problem in both ANSYS and Abacus. We still don't have any results to correlate. So let, let's do a problem where we can correlate the results to a real textbook problem. Where we already know that a specific answer should come and then we can input different boundary conditions and then check it. Have a good day. Bye bye.